Hello and welcome to our space exploration unit. So this unit is getting pretty cool. Um, we're actually going to do a research project about uh, one of the different forms of space exploration in uh, human history. So we'll talk more about that later. Uh, today we're just going to do vocab just like we do all the time. It's going to look a little bit different because as you can see here, I have more than one word per slide, but it's okay. You guys are super duper smart. You'll figure it out. See how I got more than one word. So the first word we're going to talk about is space exploration, and that is an investigation of physical conditions in space and on celestial bodies using satellite space probes or spacecraft with human crews. The next word we have here is a space probe, and that's an unmanned spacecraft designed to explore the solar system and transmit data back to Earth. Last but not least on this slide, we have satellite, which is a spacecraft that orbits the Earth, a smaller body that orbits a larger body. So um, we have what we know as a satellite. A lot of us have satellite TV. I do myself. There's a satellite that humans put up there that circles the Earth. Um, but our moon, I'm sure all of you see the moon at night, is actually a satellite as well. It's a smaller body that orbits the Earth, which is super large, and that's what our moon is, is a satellite. Kind of cool, right? The next word we're going to talk about is space shuttle. So a space shuttle is a reusable spacecraft used to transport people and cargo between Earth and space. I don't know, they're pretty cool. You can see it taking off right here into orbit, and then you can see right here it's landing kind of like an airplane would on a runway. Uh, the next word is space station. A space station is a large man-made space facility where astronauts live and conduct research for long periods of time in space. So a space station doesn't happen on Earth. It's going to be in space. And here you can see a picture of a space station. That's kind of cool. Uh, last word on this slide is a rover. A rover is a vehicle used for exploring the surface of an extraterrestrial body, like the moon or Mars. Hopefully you guys paid attention to the news not too long ago. We just landed another rover on Mars. Super cool. If you didn't see anything about it, you need to go search it up because it was awesome. Next on our list is a telescope, and a telescope is usually a tubular optical instrument used for viewing distant objects like the stars or planets out that we see at night. Um, next over here we have an observatory, and an observatory is a building or place equipped for observing natural phenomena. Uh, there's an observatory at um, a&M and Commerce. I uh, didn't get to go to it because it was shut down the time that I was there, but I would really like to go visit it. Okay, we talked about a space station. Now we're going to talk about the International Space Station. And the International Space Station is a specific space station. It's orbiting the Earth right now, um, and it was started in 2001 with the cooperation of 16 different nations. It's used for scientific and space research. Down here on the left, we've got a spacecraft. A spacecraft is a vehicle or device designed for space travel or operation outside Earth's atmosphere. Last but not least on this slide, we've got a rocket, and a rocket is a spacecraft that gets power from burning fuel that doesn't require oxygen. Why might a rocket not, why would we want a rocket to not require oxygen to burn? Hmm. I want you to think about that, and then if you can think of an answer, email it to me because I'm curious to what your thoughts on this one. So why would we on Earth want to make a rocket that doesn't require oxygen to burn. Think about that. Send me an email. I'm curious as to your thoughts. This is our last slide here. We're going to talk about Galileo Galilei. And he was a pretty cool dude. He was the father of modern science. He made improvements to this telescope. He didn't invent it, but he improved it. And he discovered Jupiter's four largest moons. Down here at the bottom, we've got NASA, N-A-S-A, -A, NASA. Hopefully, we've all heard of NASA. 
NASA is an International Aeronautics and Space Administration, the American governmental agency that's dedicated to space exploration. NASA is pretty cool. Last but not least, we've got astronauts. Astronaut is a person who is trained to be part of a spacecraft crew. I always thought it'd be super cool to be an astronaut, um, but I don't know if I'm brave enough to go into space. I don't know. Be kind of scary, but be awesome all at the same time. Y'all are fantastic. You know what to do in the Word document below.